What's up YouTube? It's Steven with Steven and Tosh and uh, I'm doing a little experiment today. I have the My Father La Promesa cigar in Lancero and my experiment is I'm sure if you smoke cigars you have watched reviews and you can get some of the most I say outrageous claims as far as what one may taste in a cigar. Now I say outrageous because I guess in my mind it is. Um, they may actually taste those things. I mean, taste is subjective. Um, but I know that I never seem to taste some of these things in cigars. You know, it could just be like I said, my, maybe my palate's not as refined or uh, maybe they really don't taste it either or maybe it's just, I don't know, depending on the cigar or the day or what they've had to eat or anything like that. Um, but uh, my experiment is, is, is such, uh, I have the cigar, I looked up three reviews on YouTube and watched them, and um, as far as the flavors that they uh, mentioned in the cigar, uh, black pepper, red pepper, cinnamon, coffee, um, cocoa, citrus, wood, earth, cookie dough, all these things were mentioned as possible flavors in the cigar. Now, I will say that this is a Lancero, and I've been told that the, uh, or learned that depending on the size can depend on the tobacco, the amount of tobacco in the cigar, which can also affect the flavor. So, for this particular cigar, Lancero, um, the uh, flavors that were mentioned were black, red, white pepper, cinnamon, and cookie dough. So, I'm going to taste these in the cigar, hopefully, uh, but I'm gonna do it in a little different way to see if I can actually pick out these flavors. So here I have the actual spices. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take a little bit of each of the spices individually, um, cleanse my palate, concentrate on what I'm tasting, and then take a puff of the cigar and see if I can pick out that flavor in the actual cigar. I'm gonna do that with each individual spice there and see if I can pick out any of those flavors. So according to the one review I saw on this particular cigar in this particular size, I should be able to pick out some of the black pepper, red pepper, and cinnamon. Let's give it a whirl. On the cold draw, I'd say it's very much chocolate. Maybe like a, a chocolate cookie. Not really sweet, but just, I guess, the breadiness of it. It's kind of what it puts me in the mind of. Okay, I'm going to light it up, and we'll see if it changes. Okay, so just lit it up. First few puffs. Okay, so got a picture in my mind of, of what I'm tasting here. Now I'm going to go ahead and dip into the spices and see if I can pick out any of those in this cigar. Okay, I'm gonna start out with the coffee. Dip a nice little bit in. Okay, I have the coffee flavor in my mouth. Trying to really concentrate on what I'm tasting. I'm gonna take some water. I'm gonna kind of rinse my mouth out, clean, cleanse my palate. Okay. Now I'm gonna take a puff and see if I can pick out the coffee in the cigar. No, can't say I pick up any coffee in that. Okay, let's go to the cocoa. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of the cocoa. All right, we got the cocoa here. 
Might need a little bit more of that. Okay, got the cocoa in my mouth here. Kind of cleanse my palate. Let's take a puff and see what we got. No, can't get any cocoa. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, now according to the review that I saw for this particular Lancero, <clears throat> um, black pepper, red pepper, cinnamon, and cookie dough. I should be able to taste in this cigar, or at least that uh, particular reviewer did. So uh, we're gonna do the black pepper and the red pepper and cinnamon. I don't have cookie dough here, um, but I know that flavor in my mind, so I wouldn't need to actually taste that anyway. Uh, but let's go with the peppers and um, see what we get. Get some of the pepper. Okay, we got the pepper here, black pepper. Okay, has a pretty distinctive taste, black pepper. Okay, a little water <clears throat> and more cigar. Let's see what we got. No, um, the retro hail got a little floral maybe, but definitely no black pepper. Okay, let's go to the red pepper and then the cinnamon. All right, now we're gonna try the red pepper. Okay, red pepper. Definitely different from the black pepper, but more so just the spice. I don't appreciate much taste, actual, actual taste. Okay, let's uh, cleanse our palate and go with the cigar. All right, palate cleansed, now let's try the cigar. Maybe, maybe red pepper. More so just the spiciness of it, not really a flavor so much. That's probably more in the retro hail than anything else. It's a smooth cigar, so, um, though not really much uh, no harshness to it. Okay, I'll use this with one more of the cinnamon. Let's uh, give that one a shot and take one more puff. Let's go with the cinnamon. All right, cinnamon. And that's good. I wish I could taste that in a cigar. Let's take a puff and maybe let's try and give it a shot. All right, palate is cleansed from the cinnamon. Let's take one last puff and uh, give it a go. No, nothing. So, red pepper, maybe. Other than that, I don't taste much else. As I said, um, maybe just my palate, just can't taste it. 
um, or maybe they don't taste it either, or just the subjectivity of it all. Um, but uh, try one more thing. I'm gonna kind of mix the the flavors together and see what I get from that. So now I'm gonna get a little bit of everything. A little black pepper, a little red pepper, a little cocoa, a little cinnamon, a little coffee. So kind of mix them all together. Do that one more time. So I kind of mix them all together. And to be honest with you, I can taste the spice of the pepper. I can taste the cinnamon. Definitely get the coffee. The cocoa kind of gets lost in it. So, I don't know. More of the story is. <clears throat> so, the experiment was a fail. At least, I didn't taste any of those things in this cigar. But, um, I guess the moral of the story is, if you like to smoke cigars, just smoke it because you like the experience. If you can taste it, great. If you can taste all those things, great. Maybe you just like the flavor of tobacco, which I guess that's what I like. Um, I don't pick up those crazy flavors, and if you do, then, you know, hey, maybe one day. Um, but until then, I'll continue to smoke, and um, if you can't taste those flavors either, you're not alone, but um, just keep smoking like golf. You hit bad shots, just keep hitting them, and eventually you'll hit a good one. Keep smoking, and maybe one day you'll pick up some of that crazy stuff that they smell or that they taste in those cigars. But until then, until next time.